So the first thing I did is I purchased some Arduino Nanos. These are really small and they have pins in them to control up to 14 things, I think. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, and the goal is to control eight things. So I purchased a set of relays or solenoids and these eight pins right here, the Arduino is gonna be connected to and that'll control these relays. And then here's where the Christmas lights will get attached and I'll show you how to wire all that up, okay? So first things first, I took an Arduino Nano right here and I soldered some wires to it and hooked it up to eight LED lights. So currently right now I just have a blink pattern running and uh, uploaded that. So let's upload some other things. One of the things we can hook up to it, let's see, we got this one right here. This is, if we upload this sketch, this is to chase one at a time. So we're uploading the sketch now and you can do many things. So now it's just one at a time going up and that's what the arches could do. Uh, and this is another one. This one here, they're gonna chase up and then chase down. This is version two. So I get have the arches do something like this. Kind of gives it the Knight Rider effect. But this is the final one that my wife and I went with. And what this one does is it just chases in one direction and then turns off. So right here, this section controls the time for different areas. I used an array. All right, if you wanna know how to use an array, you click on file, examples, and then one of these has arrays and you can learn how to use arrays that way. All right, and if you scroll down, here's the rest of my code. It's not very difficult and I'm not very good with Arduino, but I'll post this for you to look at. All right, and then the goal is to connect that to these pins here and that'll control all these relays. So these relays will do the same thing. So here's my relay and I'm gonna include a diagram of how to put this together. What I did was I took my USB cable, all right, and I cut into it and the red wire in here has five volts all the time. So I spliced a wire into the red one inside the USB cable. That wire then goes to the power supply on the board, which in this case is called a JDVCC. Um, we can also power it here, and then that would come out in the middle here and get to put a jumper. So next up, I'm gonna hook the Arduino to it. What I did with my Arduino um, Nano is I bent some of the pins down. And the reason I did that was I'm gonna attach this straight on here like so. So this first pin is a ground, and the next one is a one, a two, a three, a four, all the way down. And on here, same thing, that says ground, one, two, three, four. So if I just solder these together, it'll save a whole bunch of space. firmly attached to that. All right, and I don't have to worry about extra wires. Once it's so it had a little problem here with my five volt power. It actually has to get connected to both of these, the VOC and the JDVCC. So the one on the right powers the relays and the one on the left powers the actual board in this part. So let's plug this USB in and see what happens. There we go. All right, let's hook up our relay. Here's how this works. In the center here, these one, two, three are hooked up to this one. The next ones, one, two, three, are hooked up to this relay. Right. The center one is your common. That's where your power goes in. This side is normally open, which means right now it's the connection from here to here doesn't work. When you power the relay, power then will go from here to here and turn on whatever you have. The other one is called normally closed, which means when the relay is not powered, power will go from this side to that side. So if you want your lights on right now, you would use this side. And then when you supply power here, it would turn this off and turn that on. So I'm gonna wire up all the commons. I already cut some 14 gauge wire. 
we're just going to stick that in there and tighten it down in the middle of all of these. Okay, the main power is hooked up. It's gonna come into here. We're just gonna get split and go to all these and that's gonna send power to the main commons on all of them. And uh, this is the main power coming from the plug. So the plug comes in down here and it's gonna supply this outlet with power, which will be for the USB. And then one of these leads comes out and that's gonna power all of the commons on my relay. So I'll just put that in there, lock it in place. That's gonna send power to all of my relays. This guy's gonna power the Arduino. So we're gonna plug that in underneath here. I don't know. There we go. This could be bad. There we go. Okay. Works. So power from the main plug back here, okay, enters everything right here through this black wire, and that powers this outlet, all right? That outlet has a USB adapter, and that's what powers the Arduino. Coming out of this outlet is another black wire right here, and that goes to this distribution connector, 
which then goes to these two. And that sends power to all the relays down in there, which are controlled by the Arduino board. So if we were to plug this in, the Arduino lights up, and inside you can see the lights blinking. And those are the relays going on and off. And those relays then send power to the different switches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right.